Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Today, John Combe and I speak with Bill Jordan, who has helped us all learn how to embrace the boom. Gosh, I'm trying, guys. I'm trying, you know, embrace the boom. is Basically, is just wherever you are in life, embrace it. Live in the hey, moment Bill. if at all possible, you know? Cheers. Bill, I understand that you have a question for us. Oh, yeah, I do. I have a question that I'm, I'm uh, it's, it's been percolating in my mind. I haven't quite fleshed it out. So I thought I would turn to you guys your, in your experienced wisdom. Oh, yeah, we're good at flushing. Because I, well, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm coming up with some ideas. I've got a second book in mind to follow up on the Embrace the Boom uh, book, 15 Practices for a Happy, Better, or Rewarding Life. Uh, whether you be a baby boomer or any age, actually. But anyway, I need a second book, so I'm thinking of some ideas. Uh, a month or so ago on Facebook, I asked the question, what makes a professional? What are the traits of a, of a professional? Other than whatever you do, you get a paycheck. Sure. What do you hmm. think of, like, mindset traits of someone who is a pro at okay. doing something? Uh, okay, so, uh, because... I know folks who use the word pro all the time. Um, I, I think of a pro as a professional, as somebody who's very, very good at what they do, number one. Um, and you can trust them to get the job done. You know, well, not only well, but fair price and, and time and all that. That's That's a professional to me. Somebody you can trust. Well, to me, uh, to me, I would add to that certainly that they're reliable. Quite frankly, uh, even if somebody really knows what they're doing, if they never show up on time, to me, that's not very professional because other people are depending upon them. Like uh, a contractor uh, has a whole bunch of workers and maybe they're all really good at what they do. But if they don't show up on time and don't get the work done properly, uh, to me, that's not very professional. So... Um, and I think one other thing I would say, uh, a professional gives you the sense that they really care about whatever they're doing or whatever you're doing is important. And it's yeah. not just they show yeah. up, uh, do a job, and they go away. Does that sound like stuff that makes sense yeah, to you? Yeah, they like what they do. Yeah. I think yeah. that's exactly what I'm looking for. And even when you know, John, when you say, you know, somebody is really good at what they do, how did they get really good at what they do? Practice, practice, practice. Practice, diligent, striving to be better. Yes, yes. Caring about the job, showing right. up on time, showing up prepared. Yeah. Right? Leading others, having people that look up to them, having people that maybe they look up to, they have a mentor, maybe they, they are a mentor to others. Yes. And, of course, they get the paycheck. So yeah, and, might, and, and I want to I want to reinforce a, a good point you made, and that is that they are constantly striving to get better, uh, because after all, even if you're an expert, uh, whatever it is, carpenter, television director, whatever it is, right. you, you nothing's perfect, and you learn from your mistakes. You try to get better. Yeah, to me also a uh, part of that is if uh, 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 even when a job is done well all the way to the end. But oftentimes there is a hiccup, and if there is, it's not like they try to gloss it over or they try to bury it or they try to blame somebody else for it. They take blame, yeah. and then they have a plan of action to correct it, and that happens all the right. time, whether it be in construction yeah. or... A professional takes responsibility. Yeah. Yes. A professional takes personal responsibility for a lot of this stuff. You know, and something else that when you're talking, John, about the, about the hard work, you know, and... and there's that line about hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work hard. Yes, that's you a know? good line. Here's my point. Everything you guys said sounded absolutely perfect and exactly how I would imagine. If you're talking about a professional baseball player, a professional architect, I mean, that guy's really, he is a pro at what he does. Yes. Why do we only associate the word pro or professional with our quote career or job in the, that we get paid right we're making a living i'm seeing again i'm trying to flesh out this idea of being a professional human 
all of those traits that you guys describe in someone who's getting paid to do a job yeah. should also be traits that we have personally, should they not? Oh, and absolutely, yeah. Mm. yeah. Is our compensation not waking up every morning? Right. It's not our compensation, another day of life. Yeah. So I, I hate to sound kind of preachy or extra philosophical, but when I started thinking about what makes a professional, it's like, as a human, should I not be prepared? If I see that a hurricane's coming, we're in North Carolina. If I see a hurricane's coming, should I not be making sure that we've got, yeah. you know, batteries for the flashlights and we've yeah. got, you know, we got charcoal in case we got to cook out for a week or something like that. Should not, not that be part of being a professional human? Should I try not to, to give my best and give my attention to others and have someone that I can be mentored by and have other people that I can mentor in turn, but just to be the best human being, a professional level human being, as opposed to just relegating that to the professional side, the quote, money-making or career side of my life, which is now in the rearview mirror for the most part, other than voice work and, and doing some writing. Does that make sense to, to, so, to you guys? So I, uh, what, I, what makes sense to me, it seems to, to be that this is a debut of a Bill Jordan new concept of what it takes well, can you define what a professional human being is? Professional human. Hmm. Yeah. I, you know, rem remuneration comes in all kinds of forms. It can come in a paycheck, and again, it can come in just into the gift of life. You know, we're here. We're here. So why well, not try to get better? Being a professional human is a lot more difficult than being a professional worker, carpenter, architect, fill in the blank, because you're more often than not, you're caring for people. That's what- Yeah, it's your relationship mind, with others. Between professional human. Sure. sure. It's the people factor. All right. So uh, what are we going to, well, is there a timeline for this or you just cogitating? And uh, we've seen the first- Hmm? It's percolating. It's percolating. This idea is percolating and about becoming a professional human or realizing that you already are one. Yeah. Well, we we are all supposed to be. Yeah, uh, but we've never thought of it that way. We never, but we don't think of it that way. So, you know, thinking of ourselves in that way, you know, good point. May throw a little bit of a light switch um, in us. You know, it's just like it's like the concept, and maybe we've talked about this before. I hear this with a lot with young people. You know, they get out of college, and you know, they're looking at a field, and it's like, well, how much money can I make? How much money do they make? Right. What, you know, can I make? The old, the you know, the investment firm. You don't make money; you earn it. And once you once you change your mindset of making money to earning money, I, I think that you start thinking about it differently. Yeah, you do. So earning this life that we've got, earning it. I mean, that was the gist of, that's quite honestly, the secret 16th practice in my book of earning this life yeah. that our parents have passed down to us, the greatest generation, fighting, I mean, literally saving the world during World War II. And what are we doing with this life? Yeah. We need to earn it. That's all. Well, you so, you mentioned you mentioned something very important, and that is when you think of it differently, you will act differently. And um, I like the idea of a professional human. Uh, I think there's a lot of people that, quite frankly, need a little bit of uh, remedial work, <laughs> and uh, maybe you should go back to school for it. And there's other people that should be, uh, you know, certified. There's a certified human right there. Professor. Well, it was it certified in another way? But yeah, I didn't, let me, I didn't know which one you were that. <laughs> let, let, me, let, me, let me ask this of our audience. Since um, uh, we've all now been blessed to uh, uh, hear Bill Jordan as he begins to think about uh, his new book, and uh, quite frankly, a subject matter that has never occurred to me 
before becoming a what what makes a professional human being and maybe the title will change a bit so for our audience i ask uh go to bill jordan on facebook or or his his website or wherever it is that you want to reach him and tell him what your thoughts are and um uh, maybe help yeah. him flesh out this book because help, each of us has something that we can we can contribute uh to our thoughts on what is what makes somebody a professional human being yeah yeah we need we need to help bill percolate his thoughts yeah. for the next it's a good word. Book. I like the word percolate i like my coffee percolate <laughs> percolation <laughs> Hey guys, I appreciate it. Live your life, forget your age, embrace the boom, baby boomers, and anybody else. And I appreciate you guys having me back. All right, Bill. Good to see you. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.